Uh, welcome to this class on um, introduction to Python and also data science. So first, uh, let's look at the syllabus. Uh, the syllabus is on Canvas. Um, uh, I'm Dr. Xue Bing Wei, and the instructor of this class. And this is my uh, office. Um, because our class is online, so we don't have any in-person meetings. And I will host my virtual office on Webex, and this is my the URL of my virtual office. And so you may want to download and also install the Webex app, so that you can come to my office uh, during my office hours. And that is uh, from Monday to Friday, so all the uh, work days, all the weekdays uh, between 7 p.m. and also 9 p.m. Um, and also, if you want to ask any questions, you can also send me email. So that is my GMU email. Or we can discuss in Slack. So Slack is also another major um, communication tool that we will use through this entire semester. OK, uh, so that this class is intro to Python and also data science. However, so don't want to be a programmer after you take this class. Uh, because if you want to be an experienced programmer, so you need several years of uh, really coding experience. So this class is just intro level and to help you to develop the ability of the computational thinking so that to get comfort with technologies and also to understand that how the computer is thinking and also to receive the input from human beings and also how they can do the calculations and how we can use programming to resolve the real world problem. And this is also help you to be better prepared for the other uh, technology classes like data mining, data visualization, and also machine learning. So we will talk about the basic data types, data containers, uh, flow control, classes, functions, and also debugging in Python. So those are the very basic concept that in any of those uh, programming language like C, C++, Java, etc. So they all have the similar uh, concept as Python. Uh, we choose Python is because Python is now the most popular programming language. Uh, after that, we will also learn that how we can calculate some simple statistics. Uh, by using Python and how we can try to resolve some real world problems. And we will also learn that how we can present data with, with uh, data visualizations. Uh, so I will leave the answers uh, for you to read. Uh, however, so we do have two textbooks. The first one is Thinking Python. This is a great textbook for beginners so that help you to understand the basic concept of programming that how you can think like a computer scientist. The second textbook is Python Crash Course. Uh, so that this one provides provides a lot of hands-on examples. And uh, I highly recommend that you can try those uh, demo codes from this textbook so that you can have a better understanding of Python. Both textbooks are free, uh, so if you are using GME Wi-Fi, you can just simply click the URL. Uh, if you are work from home, uh, you can you may need to go to this website. So that is the GMU library, and you need to log in with your GMU ID, and next you will be able to you can go back to click those URLs. Um, so those are the two those are the two of those textbooks. Okay. <coughs> Uh, I will make all the, all the announcements on Canvas, uh, so please make sure that you check Canvas uh, frequently, so at least once per day, and also you check the Slack and also your GMU emails. And here are two other websites, so I have a YouTube channel and also my GitHub, so both have many uh, tutorials for Python, data mining, data visualization, machine learning, and also GRS. Uh, so those are all the materials that I provided. So if you're interest, interested, you can check those uh, two websites. 
Um, so if you do want to use the classrooms uh, in the NGO building, uh, do make sure you check GME website. So if to see that if there are any restrictions due to the COVID. However, in this class, what you really need is a laptop or your personal computer and also just a browser that can have internet access. So everything we need for this class will be browser based. So you don't really need the computers in our labs. Like the any other courses in GMU that cheating are not tolerated. Um, and also each GMU student has one tech one drive storage. So although for this class, we, we may not need use that. Um, you can use this one for any other classes. So to store your data and also to store your um, course materials. Um, so office hours. So during my office hours, I will try to answer questions in Slack first. So please and ask questions in Slack um, so that when they answer those questions, all the other students will be able to see the answers. So it will be more efficient. And also, please feel free to help each other. So if you know the, the answers of the other folks question, please feel free to answer those questions. Um, so if those questions cannot be fully addressed, so uh, you're welcome to my uh, office hours on Slack. Oh, sorry, on WebEx. Uh, if you want to discuss something that more private, like your grades, attendance, or any other private issues, uh, please send me email to my GMU email. So do not discuss private issues in Slack or WebEx because those are uh, public. Um, um, I don't think our course will be interrupted by snow. Uh, during the spring because we will be fully online. Um, and also if you need any help because of the disabilities or because of COVID, please do let me know and I will do my best to make uh, accommodations. Okay, uh, so the important part. Um, so we have four components in this class, four types of those assignments. So online participants will account 20% uh, online lectures, 20% of your final grade. Class project, 20%. And also labs, so we will have weekly labs, so that will be 40%. Uh, your final grade will be calculated based on this table. So for example, if you get uh, above 94, so you'll, you will have A. And for some reason, if you get less than 61, you will get F. Okay. Uh, so for the online participants, so uh, you need, so at this time, you should have already joined our Slack channel. So in a Slack, there is an online participant channel and you need to post something that I defined on Canvas each week. So each week I will send out a topic on Canvas and you need to provide your response to that topic and you will receive those uh, participant um, grades. Online lectures. So each week you will need to view some uh, online lectures and in those lectures there are embedded questions. So you have to watch the videos and also you have to answer the questions uh, to get those grades. Okay, so there will be four or five videos each week and you have to watch those videos and you have to answer the questions. You have to successfully answer all the questions to continue the following videos or to unlock the other modules. And also each week uh, you will need uh, uh, to finish a lab. So and you need to submit your lab on Canvas. Uh, so each week we will do some different exercise. So uh, make sure you submit everything on time. In the end of this semester, so you you need to complete a research project. So I will define a topic um, that we are all interested. Uh, you need to write a proposal and I will provide my feedback on your proposal. And finally, you will need to submit a scientific paper. So uh, it's, it's like it's still in Python. So it's a uh, but we will write that in a notebook format. OK, so you will see 
that later. So later on, we will you will see that we will write everything in the notebook that contains our Python code, our data, and also your analysis. You will also need to record your presentation um, and submit your recording in the final exam week. Uh, make sure you submit everything on time, but uh, otherwise you will receive late penalties for the labs, lectures on the, all the online participants. So that will be one point per day if you submit it late. So for example, uh, if you submit it uh, one week late, you will, receive, you will lose uh, seven points. And, but no more than 40% in total. So if you, sum, if you submit something that late more than three months, so um, you will uh, so you you will still get sixty points of your of that uh, assignment. No late submissions will be accepted in the final week. So that is a hard deadline. Uh, you have one time to resubmit. Uh, only one assignment is a lab uh, or your. Um, uh, so it is more like a lab. So you have one time to resubmit your lab uh, because online lectures will be graded automatically. Um, so you can submit anything before the deadline. So you can resubmit multiple times uh, before the deadline. But after the deadline, you only have one chance to resubmit your, your labs. Um, so uh, those are the uh, criteria that how you can resubmit your assignment but make sure that the final project you don't you cannot resubmit so late submissions or resubmissions of your final project are not accepted all right so this is a schedule of this entire semester so uh, you can see we don't have spring break um, uh, so we will we have uh, for 16 weeks the first week, we will talk about the basics of the Python, and also we will set up our Python editing environment on AWS. So make sure you have already enrolled into that AWS Educate Classroom. And those are the chapters you need to read from that week. So uh, for TP, Sync Python, and also Python Crash Course, so the first chapters of those two books. We will then talk about the basic data types and also variables uh, by using three weeks. So like numbers, strings, list, set, uh, dictionaries, and also tuple. And those are the chapters that you should read. Uh, so it looks like there are a lot of readings, but the chapters are pretty short, actually. And, and also you don't need to try all the Python code in those textbooks. Uh, because some some Python code, some of things like this are actually pretty advanced, uh, so uh, you don't need to try all the Python code. Okay, and we will spend another four weeks talking about the flu control, and so and also two weeks talking about the program design. So those nine weeks are the hardest time of this entire class. So every time when you learn a new programming language, the, the beginning of that class is always the hardest. So after you uh, survived from through those nine weeks, you will start to enjoy this class. So hopefully, I wish you start enjoying this class uh, from the first week, but Normally, you will start enjoying this class after those nine weeks because those first nine weeks are the hardest part. After that, we all learn that how we can analyze data and also visualize data. We will move on to another Python editor called GP Notebook. And we'll see that how we can read data, do data analysis, and also visualization. And uh, starting from there, you will feel like, OK, so what all those uh, stuff that you have learned are pretty useful and you can see that how powerful uh, you can be by using Python to analyze data and also to resolve the real-world problem 
And starting from week 14, so you will have two weeks that you will be working on your final project. So we don't have any, any lectures and also we don't have any labs. And week 16 is a final exam week. Make sure that you submit everything, the labs, participant, etc. before the final exam week. Otherwise, you will receive zeros from those missing assignments. And during that final exam week, you just need to record the presentation of your final project and upload that one to Canvas. So we don't have a real exam.